Right now, nah, you got to have a, a hustle mentality to to you know to make it in this space. So you say it started with Rock Nation, man. Like you know, most people would be like, you know, how did it start? Was it was it for your artistry for music, or was it for modeling, or for so? How did you how did you get that? How did you how did you start off with Rock Nation management? Oh. It's crazy because this is kind of like an untold story, you know what I mean? Because like I never, we never like officially announced that I was a Rock Nation. I'm still with Equity Distro, who does my distribution, which is through Rock. But mm -hmm. um, the story of how it happened is actually crazy because this is when Ashley was still like fully managing me, and mm -hmm. we had just finished all the like skateboard cane stuff we were working on. And then um, I don't know if I could say what happened in her life, but I know she got offered a job somewhere and stuff was going on. So mm -hmm. we had to kind of slow down what we had going on. And then right around the same time, it was um, Rolling Loud, Oakland. I went out to Rolling Loud, Oakland. It was really like one of the days I was hurting too. It wasn't going good for me. Like stuff was bad. And like uh, my homie, my, my, my DJ, DJ Mentos was DJing for Guap Dad. I think it was his first Rolling Loud too. Like, okay. and um, so... He was already out there. And then one of the homies that was in L.A. just hit me like, hey, we're going to go. I'm going to go up to Rolling Loud. And I was like, I didn't really know him like that. But I just rode up there like on some faith, just like whatever. I'm going to go because the whole team up there, we just rocking like whatever. I'm going to go. And then um, I get up there and it was funny. I had this like long red belt that was like it was real long. Like but the wristbands at Rolling Loud uh, Oakland were red for like artists. I didn't get a wristband like I was kind of stuck out. And I ended up like finessing all day because, you know, I had the cane, too. So, like, I was had long sleeve with my red wristband wrapped around. And I was walking with the cane and, like, sliding through doors and stuff and going crazy getting through. And then uh, at the end of the day, because I was ready to go home, like, when I didn't have my credentials, I was like, I was like, bro, I'm in Oakland. I'm stuck. I need to go back to L.A. You feel me? Like, but I stuck mm -hmm. it out the whole day. And then um, by the end of the day, we went back to Guap's house in West Oakland. And um, he was there with his manager and another manager at the time that I didn't know. I didn't know the dude at all. <clears throat> excuse me and um i was just standing there eating tacos because me him and buddy had went and go get some tacos from like the sonola truck or something like that and mm -hmm. then uh i was just chilling eating my tacos and like this dude i didn't know him at all his name's nima he came up to me and was like yo like like who are you like what do you do like you know what i'm saying like kind of stuff like I, I don't know why he asked but he just did and i was like oh well yeah i'm stocks i do this i got a project coming whoop de whoop i just happened to like be outspoken that day <laughs> mm -hmm. and then he was like oh word well i work at rock like send me stuff on the email or whatever and like i'll see what it is and i was like i bet send him an email after rolling loud and like two days later i was in the office and then we you know had our little conversations and everything and it was it was on from there <laughs>